then the online marketplace has become a very popular place to shop and or sell anything you no longer need. But unfortunately, there's always the chance of being scammed. Indeed, and WJCL's Emma Hamilton joins us live from Pooler Police Department right now from a safe exchange zone. So Emma, tell us more about how that works. Hey, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Ashley. Well, most of us have done it. You've bought something online from Craigslist, and now you can even buy things on Facebook, which is crazy. But the question always is, where do I meet someone that I have no idea who they are to buy or sell an item that I have? Well, the Pooler Police Department, they have set up these safe exchange zones here in the public parking lot of the police department. Take a look at this sign here behind me. This is a place that is completely safe. It's well lit next to the police department so you are able to buy or sell an item to a total stranger. But of course, the police department does want to remind you of a few tips so that you can prevent becoming a victim of one of these scams. If it's too good to be true, chances are it is a scam. It's not real. And when you're selling an item, be careful when receiving cash to ensure that you're not receiving counterfeit bills. Lastly, if the seller is insisting that you pay them prior to meeting and receiving your item, that there, that's a major red flag. Now, as, as I was mentioning before, you do want to meet in a public and well-lit area with other people around you when you're meeting these people to buy or sell your items on the marketplace. And of course, the best place is right here at the Pooler Police Department. Reporting live in Pooler this morning, Emma Hamilton, WJCL 22 News.